Hello all, welcome to another video of CodeCon. Uh, today I'll be solving an interview question. It was actually asked by the LNT company. Uh, so the question goes like that we need to find the highest and the lowest salary in each department. Okay, so here we are given a department uh, employee table, and uh, you can see in this particular employee table we are having the salary of uh, of the employees, right? So supposedly for department one we are having the salary thirty thousand. And also for department one, the salary is fifty thousand, right? For another employee. So for this particular department, the highest salary is fifty thousand, and the lowest salary is thirty thousand. Similarly, if you see department two, Ravi gets the highest salary of forty thousand, so his salary is mentioned, and Sai gets the lowest salary of twenty thousand, his salary is mentioned in this way. So actually, it's a bit of pivoting here done. So if we if you had to do this in uh, like if you have to print the highest salary and the lowest salary in this particular columns one way we can uh, or one approach we can use is that um, first in uh, the uh, suppose we need to use here two cities right common table expressions we need to use to two cities in one city we will be having the highest salary like we will be storing the highest salaries and, uh, and, and in the another city we will be storing the lowest salary so if we merge these two particular tables based on the department id and use the uh, dense rank uh, column to, uh, to compare the these two particular tables then we will get the suitable output right the required output we will get so if once i will code it will it will be easier for you so for in the first city i will be uh, like i'll be using the dense rank and i will be uh, only focused and print uh, focus in printing the high salaries for each department right so uh, select Employee, okay. Just I need to connect it. Okay. So yeah, I uh, I only need to deal with department ID. Uh, department ID, right? Comma. Uh, dense rank. Rank. Over. Partition by um, department ID uh, order order by salary salary in descending order as DRN. Okay, so if you run this query, see I am getting a uh, let's print salary also be easier to understand, right? <clears throat> So if I run this, I am getting for each department, uh, I am getting these salaries arranged in the uh, descending order, right? For, de uh, for department 1, the highest salary is uh, 50,000 and, and it's given the rank 1, right? For department 2, the highest salary is 40,000, it's given the rank 1. So I will store this at v as with C, T, E, 1 as, right? So in this particular city, what I am doing is that I am storing the... Uh, highest uh, in the salaries of particular departments in the descending order right and also i will do the same thing that i will be storing the salaries of the department in the ascending order right for the low, to get the lowest salaries c c t e 2 as uh, everything will be same except i need to clear this i need to give it as a r n from employees right so if I run this particular query, you will see I am getting the salaries of for each department arranged in the ascending order, right? The lowest salary is given the rank 1. Here the lowest salary of department 2 is given the rank 1, okay? So what I need to do is that and now we need to uh, uh, like join these two particular tables based on the department IDs. So select star from city 1 as A. Suppose we are giving the uh, it has a table join ct2 as b on uh, a dot department id is equal to b dot department id okay so if i run this query see we are uh, we are getting all the records from the, both the tables right so as it is as it is an inner join so it is uh, join uh, is it's joining the two tables in this particular way 
now what we have to focus on is that we need to get only the highest and the lowest salaries right so for the high salaries the drn should be one simple logic for the high salaries the drn should be one and for the lowest salaries the arn should be one right so we'll put the condition where drn is equal to one and arn is equal to one right so see in for the first row you will see the drn is one and the arn is one and see in each uh, uh, rest of the uh, departments of, uh, of ID 1, department ID 1, you will nowhere see where the department uh, that uh, where the a DRN is 1 and the ARN is 1. Okay, so only one row, uh, only one row gets uh, matched. Similarly, for department 2, you will see the uh, only the first row gets DRN 1 and ARN 1, right? So I will choose only these two particular rows. So now, if I run this particular query, see what happens. I am getting uh, the required result. So now I'll just need to print the a dot department ID, comma a dot salary as highest and so salary, comma b dot salary as lowest and so salary, right? Our, uh, our A table consisted of the highest salary and the B table consists of the lowest salary, right? So if I run this query now, see, for department ID 1, the highest salary is 50,000 and the lowest salary is 30,000. For department ID 2, the highest salary is 40,000 and the lowest salary is 20,000, right? So what I did is that initially in the CT1, I ordered the salary of uh, um, uh, like in the... Uh, uh, partitioning by department in the descending order to get the highest salary for see in the CTU 2 I ordered the salary partitioning by department ID in the ascending order to get the lowest salary now then I just join the uh, the two tables on the uh, like condition where the uh, DRN should be one to get the highest salary and the ARN should be one to get the lowest salary so this is a simple logic we are using here I hope it's clear to you guys if not, you can rewind and see and also comment down your solution or your approach. So, thank you.